Hey everybody, Ed here with Digital Digest and today I'm taking a look at the Logitech Review. Essentially yet another way to bring Google TV into your household. Now, if you caught my review of the Sony Internet TV, then you have a pretty good feel for what Google TV brings to the table. If not, let me give you a quick rundown. Essentially, this is an Atom-powered set-top box that allows for HDMI pass-through from your cable device. Uh, respectively either an HD DVR or an HD set-top box. So if you have cable, you're golden. If you don't, forget about these devices, they're useless. Um, basically what it will allow you to do is integrate the internet, a full flash browsing experience with a Chrome browser, as well as some other applications that Google TV throws in there. It's pretty limited right now, but expect it to really grow much like the Android OS uh, has grown on the mobile platform. And beyond that, it also makes your television a little bit smarter by, you know, uh, leveraging the internet. It's not just throwing a search bar onto your TV, but it is certainly allowing you to browse the web and watch television all on the same input, something that was pretty much impossible in the past. Picture-in-picture uh, -picture always existed, I'm not going to get into that, and, you know, yeah, you can make your arguments. But this is the most seamless experience you're going to find. Now, unlike the Sony unit, uh, this does not have an optical drive, nor does it have a mini uh, controller. Uh, it has a full-size keyboard, as you can see. I'll give you a quick look at that. So you can see the Android buttons there, as well as DVR stuff integrated. Also, the ability to power uh, the devices on and off up there at the top. You know, it's a nice keyboard. Of course, wireless. Um, and it is battery operated, as in the Duracell kind, so not rechargeable, you know, uh, very thin, very light, feels good, you know, and you can certainly hold it in your hands, no issues there. It's not huge, it's not a normal size keyboard, but not ideal if it's out of the living room, you know, you don't want that in the bedroom. And that's one of the things I appreciated about the Sony unit, if you watched my review of that, was that the Sony controller, they got it right in terms of the direction they were going. I'm not sure I was in love with the controller itself, but the idea was right. And that's why Logitech offers an accessory for $130, which is a clamshell mini controller. Now, great job, great feel in the hand. It's basically just the de novo mini that they made for, you know, uh, PC use a couple of years back, refashioned for Google TV, and it does a really solid job. Biggest uh, problem I had with it, though, is that, as you can see, there are two function buttons on the bottom there. Well, those function buttons, as you can see, are pretty relevant. Usually, when I think of function buttons, I think I'm going to have to use them here and there. But in the case of this controller, as you can see, since there's a lot of yellow across this device, you're going to be using it all the time. So get ready to be double pressing. I mean, to some people, that won't be a big deal. To me, at initially, it was a bit of a turn off. I've gotten used to it, so it's all right, but I don't think a lot of people are going to love that, especially at a $130 price tag, um, because even to do simple things like go back or get to settings, you're going to have to use that. Also, there's a switch here for the optical trackpad to turn it into a, you know, the mouse pad to turn it into a D-pad, which is nice. I mean, it saves space. I'd rather them go a little bit larger, something where, you know, it could still fit in the, you know, my hands the way I'm holding this now and accommodate those extra buttons that they're missing because I mean just having a dedicated home button is pretty weak I mean even here it's everywhere the picture in picture you need to use function even to scroll you know you need to use two different buttons it is backlit which is really nice uh, again do I think it's worth the hundred and thirty bucks depends if you have it to burn uh, the Logitech review unit on the whole uh, does a couple of things the Sony doesn't that I want to point out first and foremost Again, I hope that I've given you a clear explanation of what Google TV does, but the best way to see it is in the store uh, so you can see the, you know, how fluid it is and how good a job it does and how it's different from having a home theater PC uh, hooked up. Of course, there are codec limitations, as I mentioned in the Sony review. You know, it's not a media box. It's more about giving you the integrated web and television experience without any compromise in picture or sound. Now, unfortunately, the Sony unit, as I mentioned, did compromise the sound. It took the 5.1 Dolby Digital sound that you got from your HDMI and turned it into PCM stereo. The Logitech does not do that. Um, luckily, 
because Logitech has a much better interface and way of setting up with your equipment, again, part of their UI and part of their experience with their Harmony remote line, you're going to be able to get compatibility with your respective uh, devices. Something you may not find with the Sony because even though there is a list of a set list of manufacturers when you go to set up this device, you will be able to manually add in your device if it's not on the list. Something I could not do with the Sony. And it basically leverages, uh, leverages the Harmony database or the internet, whatever it may be, in order to get the right IR codes for your devices. So in my case, my Logitech receiver now works perfectly. I'm able now to control everything. It's a complete package. And to boot, my Dolby Digital Sound is still there. Whereas before with the Sony, I don't know if that was just because I didn't have the right uh, connection. I don't think it had anything to do with IR codes, clearly, because IR codes have nothing to do with the fact that a Dolby signal, uh, a fiber optic signal was being carried to the receiver and it simply couldn't communicate. And I have seen that's a, a problem across the board with the Sony product. So do know out of the box, whether you use the, the larger keyboard or the mini controller, you're going to be able to control everything now, unlike the Sony, which was, to me, not compatible with my receiver whatsoever. That's really big. And then a great extra feature, by the way, I want to mention, is that this device also has in both the, uh, the uh, Apple uh, OS market as well as the Android OS marketplace, a Harmony application that will allow you to essentially have all of the functionality you would find on a Logitech Harmony Universal Remote on your smartphone. Uh, it's a little bit clunky. You have to keep in mind it is the first uh, you know, application of its kind. And I so far have been really, really impressed with it. And that's pretty much the key reason as to why this Logitech mini controller is going to be going back. Um, besides the fact that it was $130 and really doesn't bring that much to the table because of that function button issue. But uh, basically what it comes down to, folks, if you want to bring Google TV into your house, the Logitech device is the best of the bunch. And uh, last thing I want to point out is that the infrared blasters are built into the Logitech. As you can see, they're right there on the front with the Sony. You do have, you have to wire an infrared blaster to your cable box, which is a little bit uh, circa you know, 10 years ago, in my opinion, and uh, very bright uh, on Logitech's behalf to build them in, so pretty much you'll be able to pull an infrared code off of any wall uh, that it bounces off of. Uh, lastly, you know, it's a third of the size of the Sony, it's less money, and uh, in the long run, I think you're going to get far better support from this product, since Logitech, again, has a lot more riding on its success than Sony does. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to ask as usual. And uh, please feel free to subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed. Later.